Brazilian silver prices skyrocketing this week. Gold now at a record high. Silver at its highest level since 1980. So is this the right time to take the plunge into precious metals? Ed Butowski is the managing partner of Chapman Capital Investment Management. He's going to tell us maybe where we should put our money. Should we still buy if silver's at an all-time high? I think it surged 36% just this year, Ed. We know that's right. an industrial metal, so there are uses other than jewelry, as in gold. Which should we buy? Is it still a bargain? Well, first of all, thanks for having me on. And uh, Jamie, the answer is you, you buy basically almost any real hard asset today because every time the government says quantitative easing or an additional stimulus, what they're really saying is more inflation coming down the road. So these prices are rising because of the perception that was, is very real, that we're probably going to see higher inflation. These will go up along with diamonds, along with real estate. So go out and absolutely buy some. Now, they're at higher levels. Okay, we know that. But that doesn't mean that you don't go in and buy, but you do it with balance because these prices are going higher for sure, Jamie. When you look at gold at $1,300, I've heard people speculate it could go to $5,000. How much of that should we believe? And if we do invest, what percentage of our savings or portfolio should we put in these metals? That, that's, that's a good question. No one knows for sure. But, you know, investing is a game of probabilities. And there's a high probability that these metals are going to go higher. But at the same time, where people get in big trouble with their investing is they over allocate. You should have maybe 10, 15 percent of your money in gold. Even if it goes much higher, you'll be happy you had it. Just be careful. Keep balanced. Is it a long term investment or something you could make money on in the short term and get out? Uh, you never you never know. So what you do is you make it part of your plan. Always have some gold, always have some silver. And I agree with you. The silver I like even more than the gold because of the industrial use for solar energy. So, but have a little bit of both. Don't get too excited, but at the same time, have some money in there and keep it there for, for as long as you can, uh, you know, literally, I don't know why you would ever sell gold or silver or even precious, you know, any other precious stones. No, it's great to remind people that it's an investment that can be part of their portfolio and that there still may be time to buy. But how do you find a reputable broker? Where do you go to buy yeah. gold and silver? That, I'm so happy you brought that up because a lot of these brokers are taking enormous commissions and they're taking sometimes 10, 15, 20 percent commission. How do you find a reputable one? You find one that is only charging you about 5 percent on your purchase. If someone says more, you go find another one. You know, in every area, there's people who are selling different, you know, different gold coins and different, you know, you know, bullions as well. Be very careful about the commission. And, and in terms of who's reputable, you really have to look around and, uh, and just ask the right questions in, in your area of the country. All right, Ed Butowski, great advice today right. on these metals. It sure has been fun to watch. Up, up, up. Thanks. Yes, it has been.